Hi and welcome to the Ideal Calibrations How to Calibrate Your Gas Detector Series. Today we're going to be looking at the Ventus MX4 by Industrial Scientific. Okay, first step will be to turn the monitor on. Press and hold the button on the left until it beeps. It's going to show a little battery display icon on the lower left and start up. And we're good. Now it's going to go through some checks here. Uh, you'll notice I have this tape over here. That's to keep it from being real annoying and beeping real loud. One nice thing about industrial scientific monitors, they have a nice loud buzzer on them. So let's just keep that one over there to help save our ears. Okay, I'll put that down. Things you're going to need. You're going to need your calibration gas first and foremost. The concentration is 25 parts per million H2S, 100 parts CO, 25% LEL pentane. We use methane as a simulant here. Uh, using pentane to calibrate a gas detector is, in, in my mind, I, I don't like it. And the reason that the gas detector picks up pentane real, real easy, and that methane is much harder to pick up. So what ends up happening is if the gas monitor gets poisoned to methane, you won't know about it if you're calibrating the pentane. So to me, I, I see that most of the gas detectors out there are coming in contact with natural gas before they're coming in contact with pentane. So we use uh, uh, methane as a simulant here. It's about 2 to 1 ratio, so but it works out just the same to the gas monitor. And then oxygen is going to be 19%. So that's your cylinder of cal gas. You're also going to need a demand flow regulator right here and some tubing. Now make sure the tubing, this one monitor we're looking at here is a pumped instrument. You can also do this with a, uh, with a fixed flow instrument on it. They have diffusion plate right here. Then you just need the calibration cap and a fixed flow regulator instead of the demand flow that we have here. But for those of you with pumped instruments, today's your day. So to start off, we're going to get all of this in the right shape. First step is going to be to attach your tubing to your regulator here. Next step is going to be take this and put it on top of your calibration gas cylinder. Screw in. You don't have to screw in too hard. It has an O-ring seal, so it'll take care of most of it for you. Just screw it in until it's just nice and snug and stops, and it's good to go. Okay, your next step. Take your monitor. You're going to press this button once to change the mode. You're going to press it again. The first screen tells you how many days it's been since you've caled. And this one is when we're going to zero. It has that zero up in the corner. I don't know if you can see it, but I hope you can. Now, press this button here on the right. It's going to zero the instrument. Now, once this is done, we're going to quick press this button to send it into calibration mode. So right now, just make sure you're in nice, clean air because this is going to tell the monitor that, hey, there's no hydrogen sulfide, there's no uh, methane, there's no carbon monoxide, and the oxygen level is about 20.9. Okay, here we go. Press the button. Now this little guy will pop up blinking right there. That means take your tubing, attach it to the top, right in the middle, and it's good to go. Now this monitor will automatically detect that you have the cal gas here. And always make sure these values here, 25 and the 20 point, or, uh, 25 there and 100 there match what's on your calibration gas cylinder. Now the instrument's going to go through an auto calibration procedure. I'm just going to let that run. Now industrial scientific monitors are a little different than other ones. Uh, some of the other ones out there will show you what value it thinks it is. Industrial scientific monitors actually show you the span value. Um, and what that is, that's the highest value that you can possibly achieve on a gas monitor here. So what it's saying is, hey, with the given gas concentration, with the sensor in, 239 is the highest we could get up to, 240, right? So as you calibrate more and more often, these values will come down. And once you're about right around the exact same level as what your cal gas says, or maybe a little bit before when you're just above it, that's when you should start buying new cal gas. Or maybe look at buying a new sensor. Actually, cal gas is usually fine unless it's H2S. In that case, buy a new sensor. Now you can see we're all done here. It hit the P and that means pass. Go ahead and pull the top out. You see I pulled that out there. And we're going to let it air out now. So now it's pulling in room air. So while that's occurring, go ahead and disassemble this. Unscrew there. There we go, on the side. And pop the hose. Put that back. And you can see this is coming down still. So we've got zero on our LEL over here. Got 1.8 still, 1.5 coming down on the H2S, and we still have two parts H or CO. Now that's down to zero. That's good. Oxygen's back to 20.9. That's good. 
I'm just going to watch this and make sure it still winds down. And those last, that last part, because it's a decimal, that's going to be kind of hard to clear out. So it might take a little while. It might take you know, two minutes or so. Shouldn't, but occasionally. So it looks like it's coming down nicely. Now oh, you've successfully calibrated the monitor. About to hit there. So if you guys have any questions, uh, if you need anything answered, you know, why we use methane or anything along those lines, you can give us a call. The number is 734 nine five six zero five three nine or you can shoot me an email james at idealcalibrations.com and on the idealcalibrations.com website we have a, a lot more resources there we've also got you know product manuals uh, where to, how much where to get cal gas what the cal gas values are um, step by step guides so if you have any questions head on over there and there's got a lot of info turn on the monitor off just gonna press and hold this button here it'll give you a countdown and once that's up, you know everything's officially calibrated. There we go. All done. All right. You guys have a wonderful day and keep safe out there. Bye-bye.